where's your heart at? Where's your heart at when you start worship, when you come into the house of God? Are you still harboring some sins? Are you still harboring a grudge or two? Are you mad at your boss? Are you upset with your sister? Are you thinking about holding back on your offerings? Where is your heart at when you worship God? Well, today we want to speak about that when we read this section from the Word of God, which is really entitled, Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. It's Matthew 12, beginning at uh, the front end of the chapter. I'm Pastor Richard Krause, and I'm with Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. We're glad to have you here as we uh, just concern ourselves with a small portion of the word. Matthew 12. At that time, Jesus went through the grain fields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick some heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath. He answered, Haven't you read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God, and he and his companions ate the consecrated bread, which was not lawful for them to do, but only for the priests. Or haven't you read in the law that the priests on Sabbath duty in the temple desecrate the Sabbath and yet are innocent? I tell you that something greater than the temple is here. If you had known what these words mean, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you not have condemned the innocent, for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Well, Jesus is dealing with the Pharisees, and the Pharisees are upset. They see Jesus' disciples who are grabbing some grain. It's the Sabbath day. It's the day of rest. They're taking some grain as they go through a field, and they're eating the grain. How dare they do that? Well, Jesus reminds these Pharisees that in the Old Testament, we have the story of the consecrated bread in the temple. Twelve loaves were placed there. David and his men are hungry. They go in and they eat the loaves. Or he talks about the priests who obviously are working on the Sabbath day. What's this all about? Are you into the outside uh, sort of superficial things? Or where is your heart at? Jesus quotes a familiar passage from the Old Testament. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Well, where is your heart at? As we come to worship, sometimes we are more concerned not about ourselves, but about others. Maybe we look around and we see somebody who's not dressed the way we think they should be dressed. Maybe there's somebody and they a reek of uh, cigarettes, or maybe there's somebody and their body's covered with tattoos, or who knows what that distracts us. But always be reminded that uh, we are here on a church service day to worship the Lord. And the Lord is looking at our heart, and he wants us to be right with him. These other people may be prodigals, prodigal sons or daughters who are returning and God seeks to embrace them, embrace them with his mercy, embrace them with his love. They're returning to the house of God. Remember what everything is about. Prepare your heart, repent of your sins, and look for Christ for his love and forgiveness, especially there in his house.